is very, very important. The topic is the Bible supports pro tribulation rapture, and then how we prepare for the great tribulation. Now, Jesus talked about the tribulation that there will be a time that is so difficult, it's you know, that suffering is much more than before, that there has never been a time like that, nor there will be another time like that after that. So there will be a great tribulation. And from the Bible, actually, it says that the rapture, the rapture means that the Christians will be taken up into the air to meet the Lord Jesus Christ, as is in this picture. The Christians will be taken up into the air to meet the Lord Jesus Christ, and from the Bible, this is after the tribulation. But there are some people who put in the belief. They put in the belief that the Christians will be raptured before the tribulation. And they don't, they neglect the clear passages and they go to seek the unclear passages to support them. And this is a sad thing because many Christians believe that and they are not prepared for the Great Tribulation. They think that when the Great Tribulation comes, when the Antichrist appears, then suddenly all the, the Christians will disappear and fly up into the sky. And then they will say, well, then we we'll don't have to face the Great Tribulation. But actually, the Bible doesn't teach that. And it's very, very sad that this teaching uh, prevails because people like it. Because people say, well, we, we don't have to face the tribulation. It's great, great news. But if it is not from the Bible, then it's not good news. It's false teaching. But many people believe it. And, and many people think that there are different ways to interpret the Bible passage. But I'm going to show to you that the Bible is very, very clear, very sharp, very clear on this, that the rapture is after the tribulation. It's very sad that when you look uh, online for uh, teachings, most of the time when you look for the rapture, you find that it talks about the rapture is before the tribulation. Most of the teaching is very sad. But there are some people who, who uh, shows from the Bible that this is not scriptural. There are some uh, preachers who s say that. So I'm going to show to you from clear passages in the Bible. And I hope that we all follow the truth. Okay? Now, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 1. This is one of the clearest passages. This is Paul speaking. Now, brethren, concerning the coming, and the word in Greek is parousia, of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him. Now, here it talks about the second coming of Jesus Christ, the parousia. This word is used in the New Testament when it talks about Jesus, it's talking about the second coming of Jesus. And our gathering together to Him. So the Christians will be gathered, including Paul. Now, those people who teach us rapture will say that Paul will be raptured. So here, he says that our gathering together to him. So that is the rapture, that Paul will be gathered to Jesus. We ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble, either in, by spirit or by word or by letter or if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Because some people said the day of Christ has come. And he said, no, the day of Christ has not come yet. Let no one deceive you by any means for that day. So that day is what day? It's the day of Christ. Will not come until the falling away, the apostasy, comes first. That means many people will fall away. The Bible talks about, about many people will fall away. And we just talked about that Matthew 24. There is talks about that many people will fall away and then they will betray one another and hate one another. That is the falling away. Many Christians will fall away. So this is telling us that Christians can lose salvation. And the way to keep salvation is to keep trusting in Jesus and keep following Jesus 
trusting in Jesus and following Jesus, the six fruit, not, not by the six fruit, by faith in Christ, but the six fruit are the result. Uh, we talked about in the last session that uh, when a person is saved, he will continue to repent from his sin and turn away from his sin, trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord, and have a good relationship with God and love God and also obey God and serve God. That we talk about those six fruits are the natural fruit of salvation. If a person is saved, then he will have this fruit. And so there will be a falling away. Many people will fall away. And the man of sin is revealed. Now this here described is the Antichrist. The man of sin is revealed. The son of prediction. <coughs> prediction means damnation. Eternal damnation. The son. The, so here is a man. There will be a man. Uh, is a, a male. A man of damnation. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship. So he exalts himself above all God so that he sits as God in the temple of God. So he sits in the temple of God as, as God, showing himself that he is God. And verse 8, And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. So this is the last Antichrist, that this is the lawless one that the Lord himself will come to con consume with his breath of his mouth. That means Jesus Christ will come down himself directly to destroy him and destroy with the brightness of his coming. So Jesus will descend with his brightness, the glory of his coming, that he will destroy this Antichrist. And then, going back to verse 1, Brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, parousia of Jesus Christ, and our gathering together to Him, not to be sh uh, shaken, as some believe that the day of the Christ has come, let no one deceive you by any means, for that day, that day when we will come together to the Lord, that will gather together to Him, will not come unless the falling away, the apostasy, many people will fall away and also the Antichrist will appear and the Antichrist will be consumed by the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The coming here is, again is parousia, that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will come to destroy Him. So that means Jesus will come to gather us when he comes to destroy the Antichrist. When he comes to destroy the Antichrist, he will come to gather the Christians to him, including Paul. So that is the time after the tribulation because the Antichrist is active during the tribulation. The Antichrist is active. Uh, we look at, you can look at uh, Revelation chapter 13, that Antichrist, you know, he will deceive many that, that it talks about two beasts. And then uh, one head of the beast, you know, it seems that he died and then, and then he lived. It seems that he died, he really did not die. And then people thought that he rose from the dead and then they worship him. And then all people were forced to have received a seal on the hand and on the forehead and uh, before they can buy and sell. So that is the Antichrist showing at the end time and Jesus himself will come to destroy him. And that period of time is the tribulation. It's the great tribulation that the Antichrist will bring great suffering to the whole world. And this happens, you know, that Jesus will come together, the Christians to him when he come down to destroy the Antichrist with the brightness of his coming. At that time, the Christians will be gathered. That means the Christians will go to be with Jesus, that they will be raptured, that they will be, you know, the coming of Jesus, and they will be gathered to Jesus when he comes back after the falling away and after the appearance of the Antichrist 
and then Jesus himself will come to destroy destroy the Antichrist and that is the time when Christians will be gathered together that means they will meet Jesus including Paul and when Paul meet Jesus that is the rapture those people who believe in rapture they, they believe that Paul will be raptured we can see that later in 1st Corinthians chapter 4 that talks about Paul will be raptured also okay so these verses are very very clear okay another now first we look at this word parousia that uh, when used with Jesus is all about his glorious return at the end of the world and these are the Bible verses okay and then the second Bible verse is 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verse 52 in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory now here it says that in a moment in the twinkling of an eye in a very uh, in one moment at the last trumpet the last trumpet the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible now incorruptible that means they will not be corrupted anymore so this is talking about Christians the Christians will be raised incorruptible that we will not corrupt anymore and we shall be changed so Paul includes himself here that Paul himself shall be changed and change that means change to be incorruptible for this corruptible must put on incorruption so the corruptible body our body can get sick can get old it's corruptible but one day it will put on incorruption it will not be corrupted anymore and this mortal mortal means we will die we can die must put on immortality that we are immortal that we don't die anymore so when this corruptible has put on incorruption that we have this in corruptible body that puts on incorruption then this mortal body has put on immortality that we become immortal that we don't die anymore then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory that means at that time when we are transformed to be immortal to be incorruptible that we will be like angels now actually uh, in one verse uh, in Philippians 3.20 it says that we also now here Paul also include himself now we notice that in these four Bible verses Paul includes himself we also eagerly wait for the Savior the Lord Jesus Christ who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body so Paul said that we eagerly wait for the Savior our Lord Jesus Christ who will transform our lowly body so we wait for the Savior to come and he will transform our lowly body that it will be conformed to his glorious body so that means when Jesus comes our body will be transformed into a glorious body like Jesus so this is the same thing as 1st Corinthians because here he talks about we Paul talks about we Paul can only be transformed once you know Paul is now buried he will be transformed into a incorruptible uh, immortal body and he will be like Jesus he will be conformed to the glorious body of Jesus Christ he will be transformed when Jesus comes back he will be only transformed once he will not be transformed to a glorious body, but glorious body and then change back to a, uh, a mortal body again he will be transformed once only to become the glorious body like Jesus 
and then he will be raptured, that he, he won't turn back. So his transformation only happens once. That's important. The transformation of Paul into an immortal body will only happen once when Jesus the Savior comes back, that he'll change our glorious body, a body into a glorious body. And also in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, there it talks about that we will put on incorruption, that our body will put on incorruption, that will become immortal. So that is also the same incident that we, Paul said we, so that Paul is included there. So that means 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 52 is fulfilled at the same time as Philippians 3, 20. When Jesus will come back, he will be transformed to his glorious body. So he will be transformed once only. So this happened in 1 Corinthians 15, 52 to 54, when Paul will be transformed to be incorruptible and immortal. And then at that time, death is swallowed up in victory. And uh, now death is swallowed up in victory. That means there is no more death. Now, when we read the book of Re Revelation, we see that Christians will be killed during the tribulation. When death is swallowed up in victory, that means Christians don't die anymore. That means it is after the tribulation. Now let me say it clearly again. Jesus said there will be one tribulation, one great tribulation, that there will be suffering so great that has never happened before, nor will it happen again. And so there is one tribulation, great tribulation before the end of the world, and also the Antichrist will come. Just now we saw in Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2 that also there will be the apostasy and the Antichrist during this time, this tribulation, this great tribulation that the Antichrist is active. And at this time, some Christians will be killed. And after this, the Christians will be raised from the dead and they will be transformed and gathered to Jesus, including Paul. So these few verses are uh, fulfilled at the same time. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 to 8, that when the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and Paul will be gathered together to Jesus will happen when Jesus comes back after the tribulation. And also in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, when um, the immortal, the mortal body will put on immortality. That our body that can die will put on immortality. Then we are transformed. That's, this includes Paul. Paul will be changed. So he will be changed to become incorruptible. And death is swallowed up in victory. And death is swallowed up, that is after the Great Tribulation. Because during the Great Tribulation, there will be uh, death of Christians. So this is after the Great Tribulation. And also in these verses, it's after the Antichrist was active. When Jesus Christ comes back to destroy the Antichrist, that is after the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation, the, uh, uh, the Antichrist was active. And after the Great Tribulation, at the end of it, Jesus will come back and destroy the Antichrist. So these two things point out that the time when Christians will be transformed and meet Jesus is at the end of the Great Tribulation, when Jesus will come back to destroy the Antichrist, will be after the Antichrist it was active, that after the Antichrist is active, that Jesus Christ will come back to attack, come back to attack the Antichrist and destroy him. So that is after the Great Tribulation, when, uh, because the Antichrist was active during the Great Tribulation, and then he would be attacked, and then uh, 
he is under the hand of God and then Jesus comes back so that is after the great tribulation when Paul will be gathered to Jesus and also Paul will be changed to be incorruptible and when he is incorruptible and his death is swallowed up in victory that means there is no more death no more death and there is death of Christians during the great tribulation and no more death that means it's after the great tribulation okay so um, here I explain this more cl clearly but I, I verbally already explained it in 1st Corinthians 15 it says that that this mortal must put on immortality actually there is a Greek word, word there that must must that means all Christians must put on immortality all Christians will be transformed that means Paul and all the mortal Christians must be transformed to be immortal at the last trumpet Paul and all the Christians will be raised and changed and death is swallowed up in victory means that death does not exist anymore and Christian will not die anymore and Revelation 13 15 it says that as many as would not worship the image of the beast during the great tribulation to be killed Christian will be killed in the tribulation the time when Christians will no longer be will no longer die is after the great tribulation so this verse is fulfilled when Paul was tran is transformed after the great tribulation when there is no more death that death is swallowed up in victory that uh, that we become incorruptible so that becomes very clear Paul will be transformed after the great tribulation after the Antichrist was destroyed by Jesus and also after death is swallowed up by Jesus that after the Christians being transformed to be incorruptible at that time that will meet Jesus so that is after the great tribulation these verses are very clear that is after the great tribulation that will meet the Lord Jesus Christ not before the great tribulation okay and then this another verse first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 on for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up now this word is the word used for raptured together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the Lord now this is the passage that talk about the rapture there it says that the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout so there will be a shout that Jesus himself will descend from heaven with the voice of the head angel the archangel and with the trumpet of God now this here again is the same as in 1st Corinthians the last trumpet the last trumpet means there is no more trumpet no more trumpet and here it says that Paul will be changed Paul will only be changed transformed to be like Jesus once so this verse here that we will rise from the dead rise from the dead that means he will change and he'll be caught up to be with Jesus and always to be with Jesus when we are with Jesus in Philippians 3.20 when we are with Jesus then we will be transformed he will transform our lowly body that it will con be conformed to his glorious body so when we meet Jesus we will be transformed to be like his glorious body and Paul will only be transformed once so this happened at the same time as 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 that talk about that uh, that concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together with him will be after the Antichrist was, is destroyed by Antichrist at Jesus, that Paul will be transformed and also in 1st Corinthians chapter 15 that he will be transformed that including Paul that at the last trumpet that he'll put on immortality and then death is swallowed up in victory 
And then here again, it talks about Paul, First Thessalonians, talk about Paul, that they will rise from the first and then who are alive will be caught up, raptured together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus and uh, will be always be with the, the Lord. When we are with Jesus, according to Philippians 3.20, we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our low, lowly body that we, it will may be conformed to His glorious body. So when we meet the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be transformed to His glorious body. So Paul will be transformed to His glorious body. So it only happened once, and this is at the rapture. At the rapture. And then we have seen that when will Paul meet Jesus? We, Paul will meet Jesus at the coming of Jesus after the Antichrist is destroyed by the coming of Jesus Christ. And also, Paul will meet Jesus at the last trumpet when the dead, I mean, the immortal will become, uh, the mortal will become immortal, the corruptible will become incorruptible, that death is swallowed up, so Paul will be also be transformed, and no more death that is after the Great Tribulation. And no more Antichrist will be after the Great Tribulation. So it's all very clear that Paul will be transformed after the Great Tribulation. That at the last trumpet, that all those who are dead in Christ will rise from the dead, together with those who are alive, will be transformed to be glorious like Jesus. And that is the time when Jesus come, come down to destroy the Antichrist first. And then he will raise up all the Christians and then will be raptured and to meet Jesus Christ in the air. And uh, so all this happened when Jesus come, after Jesus come and destroy the, uh, uh, the Antichrist. And this is after the Great Tribulation because the Antichrist is active during the Great Tribulation. And then when Jesus raises us from, us from the dead, there is no more death. Death is swallowed up in victory. That means the Great Tribulation is over. That means Jesus will be with us forever. So these passages are very, very clear. It's super, super clear. There is no question, definitely no question at all, when will be rapture. It will be after the Great Tribulation, after the Antichrist is destroyed by Jesus' second coming, and also when Christians will be transformed to be incorruptible and death will be swallowed up and that will be after the Great Tribulation. Okay, so Paul will only be transformed once and raptured once. So all these verses, these four verses, four passages are fulfilled at the same time. These four passages again are Second Thessalonians chapter 1, chapter 2, 1 to 8 talk about that when uh, we come together to Jesus, uh, when we are gathered to Him at the second coming of Jesus, that Jesus will come to destroy the Antichrist. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 52 to 54, that Christians will be transformed to be incorruptible, and then death will be swallowed up, and no more death, that means that it's after the Great Tribulation. And Antichrist is destroyed, that is also after the Great Tribulation. And Second Thessalonians talk about Paul will be uh, caught up in the air and meet the Lord. Meet the Lord, that means he will be transformed. He will be transformed, that means that is also the same thing as in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, that he will be transformed to be incorruptible, that he will meet Jesus and he will be uh, conform to his glorious body. So these passages are very, very clear. Okay, and then another passage that is not written by Paul. Those four passages were written by Paul. This passage is spoken by Jesus, Matthew 24, 21, that talks about the sequence of things. There it says that there will be great tribulation, such as has not been been since the beginning of the world until this time. So there's no such tribulation in the past, nor ever shall be. And so there will be no more tribulation after that. 
immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Now here is the trumpet. And in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, it talks about the last trumpet. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, talk about the last trumpet, that it means there is no more trumpet after that. And will be transformed at this last trumpet. The Christian will be transformed and raptured because according to First Thessalonians, that we uh, will be transformed and then uh, raptured. And so this is after the Great Tribulation. And then Matthew 24, so there will be the trumpet and the Jesus and Jesus will come down. So this is the last trumpet because Jesus will come down to judge all people. Now those people who said that there is a rapture and then the final second coming of Jesus is like this. Okay, let me show what they say is there is the beginning of the rapture, uh, the great tribulation, and then there is a suffering, and then Jesus will come down. Now, according to them, come down here to judge the whole world. Now, this is what happens there. Because the Son of Man will come on the cloud with power and great glory, and then the sign of Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. So all the people will see Jesus coming and they will mourn. So according to them, the tribulation, beginning of tribulation, and then during the tribulation, and then Jesus comes back, and, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. So they will say that this is the time when Jesus will come down and the whole earth will see them, will see him. Now they say that, at the beginning of, of the tribulation, Jesus will appear uh, in secret in heaven, come down in heaven and then take them up, but then uh, take up rapture all the Christians. But then actually there's no Bible verse supporting that. There's no Bible verse supporting that. And according to this verse here, that after the great tribulation, Jesus will come down and the whole earth will see him. And that is the trumpet sound. So that means this is the trumpet sound of uh, 1 Corinthians, the last trumpet, because that is the time when the Christians will be transformed and there is no more death. And no more death, that means it's after the Great Tribulation. And here it says that it's after the Great Tribulation. So immediately after the Great Tribulation. So this locked the time of Matthew 24 together with 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. These few verses, you know, for you, maybe you are not familiar with these verses, but I hope you try to remember these verses. These are very important. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that talks about Jesus' second coming after the appearance of the Antichrist, and then Jesus himself will come to destroy him with the brightness of his coming. That means this is after the Great Tribulation, when the Antichrist was active, that Jesus himself will come down to destroy him. And that is when Paul will be gathered, that he will be gathered to Jesus. And then in 1 Thess uh, Corinthians chapter 15, that Paul will be changed to be incorruptible, that he'll see Jesus. And Paul will only be transformed once and to meet Jesus once, and therefore, that this happens after the Great Tribulation. And also, this is, uh, death is swallowed up in victory, no more death. And in the Great Tribulation, there is death, so this time is no more death. So the last trumpet is after the Great Tribulation, when death is no more. Christians don't die anymore. 
that will become incorruptible. And that time that is the last trumpet after the great tribulation, no more death, the Christian will be transformed. And then First Thessalonians chapter 4 also talk about the trumpet and the Christian will be raised from the dead, the dead in Christ will rise and then uh, will be caught up rapture, so will be transformed, uh, taken up to the air because uh, Philippians 3.20 says that when we see Jesus we will be transformed to be His glorious body, so we will all be transformed and raptured to be with the Lord. And and this is a time when Paul will be raptured. So this is after the great tribulation that Paul will be transformed and after the Antichrist is destroyed that, uh, uh, that Paul will be raptured. So this trumpet also is after the great tribulation. So here this trumpet is also after the great tribulation uh, in Matthew 24. So uh, that the sound of the trumpet and they will gather together the elect from the four winds. So this is actually the trumpet that gather all the Christians together to meet Jesus and to be transformed by Jesus and uh, will be with Jesus forever. And this is after the Great Tribulation. These passages are very, very clear. It's after the Great Tribulation. So, uh, from 1st Corinthians chapter 15 that is the last trumpet that is after the Great Tribulation, after the Antichrist is destroyed and after uh, the when death is swallowed up in victory, no more death so that is after the Great Tribulation and here it says also it's immediately after the Tribulation and this trumpet therefore is also the last trumpet and that is when Paul will be raised from the dead, gathered together the elect from the four winds. So the, the, all the Christians will be gathered together. And then Jesus said, then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. So this is talk about the rapture, that one will be taken and the other left. The other left is the one to be judged. So the rapture is not a way to escape the Great Tribulation. It's after the Great Tribulation, after the Antichrist is destroyed by Jesus' second coming and also when death is swallowed up in victory. So the rapture is not the way to escape the Great Tribulation, but rather it's the way that Jesus takes up His elect to Him. So when Jesus comes back, He will take the Christians to Him. And then the non-Christians will be left behind, and then they are separated. So at the judgment of the sheep and the goats, the sheep are up to Jesus, with Jesus, and the goats are below Him. They are not taken up. So they are at two different levels. We are at two different levels that the Christian will be taken up and a non-Christian will be left behind and then we all face the judgment of God together. So from these verses, we can see that it's very clear that um, it's very clear that um, what happened at the end is like this. Now I summarize it and you visualize these passages. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 talk about the Antichrist that uh, that that this talk about the Great Tribulation period, the Antichrist will be active and we will not see Jesus, we will not be gathered to Him until after the Great Tribulation until when Jesus come, the day of the Lord will come. And the day of the Lord is that He will come and consume with the breath that the Lord will consume the Antichrist with the breath of His mouth and destroy with the brightness of His coming, that Jesus will come to destroy. That is after the 
great tribulation, the Antichrist will be destroyed by the coming of Jesus Christ. And at that time, the Christians will be taken up to Jesus. And the Christians will be transformed at the last trumpet, will be taken up to Jesus and to become immortal. And there is no more death. No more death, that means that it's after the great tribulation because Christians will die during the tribulation. And also, that's the time of the rapture and the trumpet that the Christians will be raised up to, together to be with Jesus and Paul will be raised up and he will meet Jesus. When he meets Jesus, he'll be transformed and Paul will only be transformed. So therefore, these few passages talk about the same incident when Jesus will come back, that Jesus will come and destroy the Antichrist after the Great Tribulation and he will raise up the Christians and transform the Christians and take them up to be with Jesus and the Christians will be transformed to be immortal and they will die no more and death will be swallowed up and then will be uh, with Jesus forever. So this is the rapture. So these passages are very, very clear that it doesn't allow for any, any other interpretation saying that uh, it's, you know, that the Christian will be raptured before the tribulation or in the middle of the tribulation. So in Jesus' passage also, Jesus' passage says that, that after the great tribulation, then the, uh, the sun and the moon will become dark and then uh, all the, the sun, sign of the Son of Man will appear and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds so Jesus will come back and there will be the trumpet and this is after the great tribulation after the great tribulation that means it's the last trumpet as first Thessal uh, first Corinthians chapter 15 and then the Christians will be gathered together with him and one will be taken and the other left behind that means the one who is not a Christian or who says that he is a Christian but doesn't, doesn't follow Jesus will be left behind uh, only the real Christians will be taken up to be Je with Jesus. Those who have real faith, then they will bear fruit. That they will be changed by Jesus. The life is transformed by Jesus. It's, you know, they follow Jesus. They have the Holy Spirit living in them. And these people will be taken up to Jesus, to be, uh, to be with Jesus forever. So the Bible is very clear about that the time of the rapture is at the second coming of Jesus after the Great Tribulation when Jesus come to destroy the Antichrist, when Jesus uh, will transform all the Christians that will become incorruptible, that we won't die anymore. That is the time when we will be transformed and raised, uh, will be raised from the dead and then transformed and then raptured to be with Jesus. And then there is no more death and we'll be with Jesus forever. Therefore, um, the rapture happens after the Great Tribulation. So we should be ready for the Great Tribulation, and which I will talk about after uh, when I come back. Okay? If you have any questions, please send to me, and I will answer those questions. And then when we come back, we'll talk about how Christians should prepare ourselves for the Great Tribulation. Because God is in control. Very important. God is in control. The Great Tribulation is not a time when Satan is in control. No. All the, you know, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven bowls, the seven uh, uh, thunder, all this were brought by angels and brought by God, not, br not brought by Satan. Satan is not the head in the Great Tribulation. God is the head. When we study the Bible, we know that God is the head, so we know that He is in control. We don't have to worry, okay? So when we come back, we'll talk about that and we know that God is in control. We don't have to worry. When we trust in God, actually, I believe that the great, great revival will happen in the great uh, tribulation. When Christians are persecuted, then we only can rely on Jesus and have a close relationship with Jesus. At that time, money is no, no use. We cannot buy anything with money. People, if they want to buy anything, they have to worship uh, Satan. And we don't want to take the, the seal of, of the beast. And so we won't be able to buy food. And then we can only pray to God for provision. And then at that time, God will provide for us. So uh, we, 
know that at that time when Christians trust in God only, they cannot trust in money anymore. They can only pray to God for provision. That is a time when Christians will be revived greatly and then God will do great things through the Christians. Okay? Okay, we'll come back and talk about that and we'll have a prayer now. Oh Lord Jesus, help us to study the Bible in, uh, in detail. That we study uh, and learn our doctrine from the Bible only. Not from people, but from God, from the Bible. Lord, help us to follow your teaching. The Bible is very clear that the rapture happens when Jesus comes back after the Great Tribulation to destroy the Antichrist and also when he will uh, make all Christians incorruptible. That death will be swallowed up. At that time, Christians will be raised from the dead and transformed and then raptured to be with Jesus. So we, we know that we have to go through the Great Tribulation and we should be ready. And Jesus is in control in the Great Tribulation, so we don't have to worry about it. And we can trust in God for provision. And at that time, that is a time when Christians trust in God only and will have a great revival when we trust in God only and not trust in money or trust in our own ability. Lord, thank you. P please help us to trust in you alone and build up our relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus.